So this week we're using design to address this issue of health providers and why they aren't comfortable giving contraception to teen girls. Oftentimes we talk about teen pregnancy as a leading killer of girls, and that's true. Another reason teen pregnancy is such a problem is because it stops girls from doing what they want to do. We hear from girls themselves that this is a systems issue. Within their own lives, there's a lot of influencers who um, play a part in them accessing health services and accessing contraception if they choose to. I had an abstract idea of what design thinking was, but it was when I met Pam Scott watching her lead the group and talk about design through her experiences that I could see how we'd be able to take this from what's often done in the private sector and apply it to social problems. Last year, I was a very enthusiastic follower. This year, it's completely different. Uh, it's more like we have to, Pam and I have to have a side conversation to make sure we're on the same page because we both have a vision. Right now, uh, I can run faster in Tanzania than we can run globally. So we've built a dedicated team to be able to prototype, to, to run, be able to take ideas forward, test them, and then pivot. And from my perspective, that agility is something we can use across all of our programs. And I don't think it should stay only within marketing. I don't think you should be afraid of just trying to do this. I don't think you need to get uh, one of the big names or an expert in design in order to use these principles in your day-to-day -day working life. So I think you, you can take the course that's available online, you can you know, even just read some articles and start trying the process because that's how you learn it anyway. You learn it by jumping in and doing it and you can't mess up because the entire point is to fail fast and learn from your mistakes.